Hi, this is Charlotte Jacobs from Thrive Academy and on today's video you're going to discover what to say when someone has a concern around money and how you can turn more of those no's into excited commitments to working with you. Alright, on last week's video I talked about the mindset that you need and how you need to be following your own highest commitment in order to support your potential clients to say yes to their highest commitment. So there you are, you're in the conversation with a potential client, they're leaning in, they're interested, and you know, of course, because you did your homework from last week, that you're living your own highest commitment. And they say, I'd really love to work with you, but I don't have the money. So what do you do in those situations? Because the fear is that if you actually take that conversation any farther, that you're going to occur as pushy or manipulative or like a used car salesman to your potential clients. And that's the reason why most coaches and holistic practitioners just shy and you know shy away from those conversations and they turn away and just let that potential client really off the hook from their own life. But now that you've got your mindset clear and you're really ready to show up in a state of possibility and love and really supporting your potential client to say yes to themselves, what do you say? Well, since you're going into, it's a little bit of delicate territory, right? Since you're going to that delicate territory, you want to ask permission to go there. So the first question that you're going to ask is, may I ask you a question about that? And you will be surprised at how many people will say, yes, absolutely. If they've given you permission, if you've gained their trust, like maybe you're using the five elements of heart selling that we teach at the Client Attraction Summit, if you've gained their trust, they'll be leaning in and they'll say yes, because they're actually aching for you to help them to say yes to themselves. So may I ask you a question about that? And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna actually put the money aside for a moment and have a conversation with them as if the money wasn't there. And so the way that you put the money aside for a moment is you ask them this question, if it wasn't for the money, is this something you would wanna move forward with? And when you ask them that question, it gives them an opportunity to put the money to the side and to really have a conversation with you about what they truly want. So you can really support them to say yes to themselves in a bigger way so they can get the transformation that you provide. Now, one of three things is gonna happen when you ask that question. The first thing that happens is they might say, mm, no, actually I wouldn't. Well, great, then you're really clear that something else was going on, that um, that's an opportunity to really explore what they would need to get in order to make it worthwhile for them, or maybe they didn't really see that it was a match. And I know that probably the no is one of the biggest fears. You know, we all have that fear of being rejected. And um, there's actually quite a journey I'll talk about in the next video about how to move through that fear. But that fear is there and um, it's probably very, very real for you. And when you can get through a couple of those no's and just be curious about what's going on for them, you might be surprised at what's on the other side. As a matter of fact, a lot of these conversations can be very healing conversations. All right, so one thing that they can say is no, they wouldn't do it if it wasn't for the money. The next thing that they might say is yes, absolutely, I would absolutely do this if it wasn't for the money. Well, so what's going on in that case? Well, if that's the case, then they really do believe it's the money. And this is where you can support them to, you know, really take a look at maybe there's something you could do. Maybe you set up a payment plan or maybe you refer them to somebody else who doesn't charge the rates that you charge. Maybe you want to work with them in some way. That's your choice. But at least you know that they really do believe it's the money. But where the like 50% of the yeses that would have been no's come from are the people that kind of hem and haw. You ask if it wasn't for the money, is this something you'd want to move forward with? And they go, I'm not sure. This is when you can get deeply curious about your potential clients and really discover what's going on for them. Like what, you know, well, what is it that you're not sure about? You know, if it, what would you need to get out of it to make it worthwhile for you? And when you get deeply curious about them and they're, hmm, I'm not sure, you're probably going to find something going on underneath it. Like maybe they don't think that they'll do the work or maybe they don't really feel worthy. And this is really where there's a huge opportunity for healing where if you're willing to stand for someone and really show up as their coach and as their practitioner from the get-go and really in service to them, and I'm not saying you need to have a two-hour conversation about this, but just to really stand in that for them and to really hold them with a lot of love and respect and curiosity, you'll often find that people will reveal things to you about where they just don't really believe in themselves. And that's, that's where you can tell them, you know, I'll be there with you the entire way. You know, I can't promise you that you'll get these results, but I've had these clients get these results. 
So I encourage you to try this. Jesse and I have shared these questions with thousands and thousands and thousands of people, and now you have them. And we'd love to hear from you in the comments below about how you're gonna use these questions to talk with potential clients and how you're gonna get more yeses from using them. All right, this is Charlotte Jacobs signing off because it's your time to thrive. The Client Attraction Summit is coming soon.